Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm an old guy gaming. We are on version 1.1.7. And um, in this episode, we're going to continue the push uh, towards bringing in the blacklight. We're getting close. We're getting very close. So I have spent many hours off camera pretty much just jumping to a few different star systems where you see those lines at. That's where I have been. Uh, just mining resources. So mining a restroom, mining some more Zascosium, mining a bunch of Sathium. Uh, Promethium, just pretty much almost everything. Um, and here's where we're currently at with the black light in the factory. So as you can see, I now have all of the ore requirements. Um, I have two large optronic bridges fed into the factory that we got from, um, I, I, if you guys remember, I had built one of the T3 extensions for the horizon. And then we ended up finding um, two, uh, two of those in that uh, frigate that we took down a few episodes ago. Um, so I ended up just taking the one that I had built and fed it into the factory, and it gave us two large optronic bridges, which was great. I wasn't sure if it was going to do it, because I thought maybe what it would do is just give us all the components that you need to make the bridge, but it actually gave me the bridges, which was great. So we still need six more large optronics. We need four more matrices. And with all the ores, you know, that I've been getting, I ended up making those matrices. And boy, did they take a long time uh, to, to make. And I've also made one of the bridges. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed those into the factory now. I just wanted to show you show you this on camera. Um, so let's go ahead and pop those in. These guys were expensive too. My goodness. Okay, so that meets our, our optronic uh, matrix requirement. We'll throw one more of those in there. And so we need um, a total of uh, five more large optronic bridges. Uh, I can't make any more of those right now because I'm sh too short on titanium, titanium rods specifically. And unfortunately, the game can't uh, down convert plates into rods. And I don't think the deconstructor can either. Let, let's, you know what, let's just double check that actually. Pretty sure it can't because I think I tried that, but I can't say for 100% certainty. So let's... Let's just try that really quick, because if it, if it would, then that'd be fantastic. All right, so let's move, um, let's move these into the decon bin and turn this on. Is it doing anything? Nope. You think it would, right? Because you need rods to make plates, so you think the deconstructor would deconstruct plates back down into rods, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Oh wait, I'm being stupid. Yeah, okay. So now, <laughs> now we know for sure that it doesn't. I forgot to assign that and turn it on. But yeah, you can, as you can see, it's not doing anything. And I, I, I vaguely remember trying this earlier, but I, like I said, I just couldn't remember for sure. Okay, well, so that means we're going to have to go mine some actual titanium ore, something I haven't really had to do because we've salvaged so much of it, you know, uh, in this playthrough. We're on the output controller, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to do that. Um, we're also going to stop by the space base. Um, did I pull those out of input? I can't remember now. I think they were in the output because they're extras. Yeah, that's too bad, man. We should be able to break those down further. But we can't. Okay, so I have um, uh, 368,000 coin. And so that means we should be able to buy at least two, maybe even three more optronic bridges. And that's... You know, I don't care about the money. We can very easily earn that back later. Um, they take so long to make that, I'd, you know, I'd rather just buy them as many as we can. And then we'll just, we'll go get the titanium and then we'll probably just end up making the final however many we need. So let's grab Commander Courtney here. She's just kind of hanging out in the house, um, having a good old time as usual. Uh, we are in fat city with our rations. I've got 78 rations and we're just, we're still cranking them out. So let's go to, uh, I'll put bridge here. Yeah, we, we, we are just swimming in rations now, <laughs> which is good. It's a nice problem to have. It's not a problem at all. Um, I might, I was thinking about maybe pulling all this stuff up and reconfiguring these plots, you know, for medical stuff, but I'm, I don't know. We don't even. We, we're going to do stuff like that on on the ship. We're, we're ha we'll have sixty garden plots on the ship. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just transfer all of this stuff to the black light when we bring it in, um, and then go from there. I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about that later though. 
So, uh, the other thing I was going to show you guys is that I ran into some aluminum in one of those uh, systems. And so I mined some of that up. I'm not really sure what this is used for, though. Um, I mean, it, it melts down into aluminum powder, this stuff here. But, uh, you know, I was kind of looking through the through the tech tree here, and I, I don't know what you use that for. Unless it's just maybe a commodity for selling or... Maybe it's something that they're planning on implementing later. I'm not sure. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments because I'd be curious to know what the aluminum powder and for that matter, platinum too. Well, you know what those ingredients are used for. Maybe they are just commodities. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Let's check our power on the base. Uh, we're doing great because I've got the, you know, I've got everything turned off except for the essentials. Um, I have been running the furnace quite a bit, but again, that's a pick up and put down thing. Okay, so the other thing I did off camera, as you can see here, is I made... I made a smaller landing area, and it's it's kind of <laughs> so we might have to do something different about that. But anyway, I made a smaller landing area for the horizon because uh, I needed a place, you know, to set the the black light down. And I the black light is a lot bigger uh, than the horizon lengthwise and heightwise, um, well, and widthwise too. So I don't I don't know if it's going to fit down in here or not. The the landing. Uh, the docking pads or landing pads of the horizon might fit in this area and then have everything hang out, but we might end up having to figure that out later. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it's going to go. We might even, it's might it's possible we might even be able to bring the horizon in with the, the nose um, pointing out this way because it is pretty high up in the air. And as long as it clears the base, then that should work. It's it's something I don't want to go to a lot of effort to do because, guys, when we get the horizon, we get it fitted, we're out of here, you know. I mean, we might come back someday. I don't know. But um, I, I don't think of this as my permanent base, at least not at this point, unless, you know, something changes. And so, you know, I just don't want to put a lot of effort into it is what I'm trying to say. So, we're, But we got to figure out some place to put it down because we're going to have to equip it and all that sort of thing. And I'd rather not leave it up in space and then have to make a bunch of runs uh, back and forth to get it all equipped. So, all right, let's go ahead and hop in here. <clears throat> it's a little bit weird getting in here. <laughs> I should probably make this pad uh, just a touch longer, but I ran out of concrete blocks. And at the time, both of my constructors were working on other things and I didn't want to stop them. So uh, speaking of which, this constructor here on the horizon has been cranking out fusion cells. So I pretty much, you know, I went and mined um, ice at, some ice from an ice asteroid. And, you know, we I, I went and mined some more promethium. And I just I just have it making fusion cells like crazy uh, because we're going to need those for the black light too. The black light is a fuel hog uh, just to kind of get started. Uh, and we'll probably it'll probably be almost non-stop making its own fuel once we get up and running. Uh, so we'll be hitting a lot of ice asteroids and a lot of promethium uh, as we go along. Okay, so let's go ahead and get uh, Commander Courtney in place. Uh-oh, what did I do with Commander Courtney? Did I put her in? Um, what was I connected to? <laughs> oh, we were. I think we were connected to the base here. Uh, there she is. Okay. Um, let's, so let's choose, uh, this commander, the tactical officer. It's still Commander Courtney, though. She just changed her hair, and this time she changed her eye color, too. So it's just amazing how she can do that. You gotta love science fiction, right? But you can do stuff like that in, what is it, two or three centuries from our time that, that this game takes place? I can't remember now. It's in the future, though. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and power this sucker up. Um... Pretty much want thrusters on. We don't need any any guns on for now. We'll keep turrets on. Now, depending upon how our time goes, um, I went ahead and took out the guns on the last two um, outposts, but I didn't raid them. So maybe maybe we, we can just run in and, and do that really quick um, later on in this episode. And I've been thinking about how I might be able to take on the drone base too on this planet. And I've got a couple of ideas for that. Uh, I don't think we would get to that in this episode, but uh, I would like to attempt that at least once before we, before we, you know, leave for the stars, so to speak. 
So, yeah, that's coming up, too. All right, guys. Well, I will meet you um, over at the Polaris station. Um, and we're going to go up to the space station. Well, you know what? Let's just go up there now because we gotta we got to go get some titanium anyway. So we'll just fly up there. Um, and we'll stop off at the Polaris station, buy as many large optronic bridges as we have the money to do so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, then we'll go look for some titanium, and then we'll come back and probably hit those two outposts. That's the that's the general plan for for this episode here. Okay. Do we have any tight? We don't have any titanium in the system. So yeah, we're gonna have to go somewhere else for that. Uh, so right now, I just want to get to the space station. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe taking on a couple of the a couple more space bases up here too, like the Xerax Defense Station and maybe the, even the shipyard. Um, just you know, I mean, and that's something we maybe ought, ought to think about doing, maybe instead, because there's still a chance we could potentially find. Um, some large optronic bridges, maybe? I'm not sure. I've only, you know, if, if I remember correctly, I've only remember finding those on the abandoned alien bases. I don't, so I don't know if the Xerox have the, those in their loot or not, but they could. I mean, and they're, you know, and they're harder to crack POIs like their shipyard up here in space and their drone base. So I don't know, maybe it would behoove us to, to try and take those on uh, as one last chance to get the large bridges via loot as opposed to, you know, just buying or making them. I mean, we have we have the resources to make them. It really isn't that big of a deal now that we've been able to mine asteroids. You know, once you get to that point where you can mine asteroids in a capital vessel, you know, resources are no longer a problem. I mean, you just have them coming out your ears. It, it, it really becomes then just a matter of the time it takes to make all that stuff, especially on my settings, because, you know, as you guys know, I'm playing on the hardest settings, and one of those hard settings is that everything takes longer to make. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it takes quite a long time to make a um, uh, even just one of those matrices or bridges, especially the matrix. Ma I can't talk. Matrixes. Matrixes. Is. Those suckers take forever to make. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's drift on into the orbital station here, and regardless, I'm going to I'm gonna buy however many I can right now, just because, I mean, we still need five, and that's a lot. I can probably only buy, I'm, I'm thinking maybe two, maybe three, but probably, definitely should be able to buy two, and then we'll go from there. That's close enough. All right, Commander Courtney, you have the helm. Gravity's uh, working weird here. I, thought, I always thought this station was upright uh, on the gravity plane. What in the hell? Is that my ship that's doing that? <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, that is weird. I don't think it's my ship. I think it's the planet. How come I've never noticed that before, though? Weird, man. Okay, well, we'll just keep gravity off. Okay, so the dude we want to talk to is um, the, this guy. Wait, where is he at? This guy. <coughs> Excuse me. He usually has better prices than than the other dudes. Let's just take a look. So, see, so that's a one twenty nine thousand, and I think hardware guy sells them too, but he's usually more expensive. Yeah, one sixty one. Okay. All right, well, let's blow a shit ton of money here. So we should be able to buy two, yeah, two, okay. That's what I figured it would probably be, was, is two. 
Very good. All right. So that le leaves just three more bridges that we need to bring in the black light. Only three more to go because boom, there we go. What an expensive ship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this ship is so expensive, you guys. Oh, but it's such a nice ship though. It's a nice ship to me because I made it with my own hands, you know? And I just, one of the things that I really like about this game is the fact that you can do that. You can make something and then you can use whatever it is that you make to, uh, you know, in the game. And uh, it's, I don't know, there's something that's kind of really satisfying about that. So. All right. We're, I'm just all messed up with the gravity here. If I... Okay, so if, if I hold the O key down, then my character levels out with the station. But if I take my backpack or my jetpack off, I, I go I fall towards the planet. And it would seem that my ship is also lining up with the planet too and not the station. I don't know, that just seems weird. You would expect the station to line up with the planet's gravity too, but apparently it doesn't. Or something's buggy, I don't know. Alright guys, well, the next order of business here... See, it's not even... <laughs> it's not even working on my ship. Oh man. That's... I, I don't... I've never seen that before. I don't know. I wonder if something's not working right. I mean, I should... I do have my grab generator on, right? Let's look at that. Yeah, it's on. Hmm. Well, let's get further away from the planet. Uh, we got it. We're gonna have to jump to another system, anyways, to get some titanium. So we'll see what happens when we do that. Um. All right. So let's see. Let's turn on info panel and me on the sector filter. And so Kai's got two titaniums. Uh, Lee's got two titaniums. And Lee's just a little bit closer, so let's just go to Lee. All right, where's our, our warp barrel? There it is. Okay, so where is Liet? Is it above us? It's above us. Okay. So just out of curiosity, let's turn our filt our, our shield back on in case something nasty comes by. Um, I'm holding O, so I'm level because you when you warp in, you always warp in level, which is still kind of a funny concept considering we're in space, but whatever, right? Um, now let's get out of our chair and put our grab generator on. Okay. So it must have just been the influence of the planet's gravity. We were that close to it. But I just, I've never seen that happen before. So maybe I was just never that close to the planet. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's working now. So it's working now. That's the main thing. Okay, so we need to find um, a... Oh, that's a Creel Orbital Patrol. Interesting. Um, we need to find, what are we looking for? Titanium. We're looking for a titanium meteorite, or asteroid, rather. So, probably one of those two. Oh, no, there's one right, right there. We're damn near right at it. It's right up this way. Yeah, looks like that's it right there. And then there's another... Oh, a trader orbitable orbital patrol is there too. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this is funny. I mean, we're, we're this far into this playthrough, and this is the first time I've actually had to mine titanium. <laughs> Just because of the what the salvage... It almost seems a little unbalanced, really, to be honest with you. Um, I, I just wish that we could take the plates and, and down-convert them to rods, because, I mean, why, why shouldn't you be able to, right? Anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so let's turn on our, our uh, mining turrets. And I think we're good to go. All right, guys, well, I'm going to harvest up this titanium, and then I'm going to take it back home um, and get uh, some more uh, bridges started. And then um, we will... You know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll go hit those two outposts just to get that done. And then just we'll see how our time goes. But I'm thinking... I'm really starting to think maybe we should try and hit the drone base, you know? So let me think about that and I'll let you know what we're going to do when I come back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I thought I would start the camera again here because we actually have a, a Creel uh, orbital patrol vessel, I think it is, that has sort of kind of cr <laughs> crashed into this titanium asteroid and it's just sitting there. Uh, and I've never actually been on one of these ships before, so I thought maybe we could just take a quick look at it here. Um, let me go back to here for a second. So, uh, we, we don't need all this stone. It's a crap ton of stone though. So we've, we're coming away with, um, about 3000 and some odd titanium ore. And I think what I'm going to do with that is let's just go ahead and get that started, uh, making the rods and then we'll just transfer those to our, um, well, you know what? We could actually make some bridges here. Couldn't we? Yeah, what the hell? Let's go ahead and queue up maybe a couple of, of those uh, since we have the resources on our ship to do that. Uh, so uh, I don't want to necessarily make all three of them right now because we still have a chance of possibly looting one. So we'll give that just a little bit more time. All right, let's take a look at the ship. Um, we are, I think we're friendly with the Creel. Uh, at one point we weren't because we kept killing their assassins that attacked us unprovoked, but... We are now, yeah, we are now actually friendly with them. I don't know if, if I can, act, if they'll let me on their ship, though. Um, do I have an EVA boost on? I do. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just go look at it. This is a cool looking ship, man. <laughs> it's awesome. It's got a bunch of guns, too. So there's a flak cannon there. It's got, uh, oh, it's got a spawner there. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that spawns like um like drones or something. That mu must be like docking pads for other ships. We got artilleries right here. There's a, a whole grouping of rocket launchers. Oh no, these are actually projectile turrets there. Okay. Is this ship upside down? Oh, it must be. Okay. Yeah, it is upside down. Gotcha. Okay. I, I I couldn't figure out... Well, I wasn't sure why the docking pads were where they were, but yeah, it's we're, we're actually looking at it from the underneath side. Okay. That makes more sense. Holy crap. Look at those weapons. Dang. Pulse lasers. This ship uh, would be a formidable foe, man, <laughs> to get get into a fight with, especially if it's shielded. Got an elevator there. Are there any NPCs? On oh, what? 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 How was I able to just? Go directly through the window there. Oh, I wonder if it's. I'm not in God mode. Uh, don't stand over the thruster there. Thank you. That's the that's the trader a trader's guild vessel. All right, I think <clears throat> I think I've actually seen this before. 
where, as you can see, I, I never ran the God Mode command. Um, I think I've seen this before where some, sometimes when these ships bug out um, in space, then they become... I mean, you can, you can just go through the walls. Wow, look at those CPU extenders. Uh, so this is definitely a T4 ship. Um, is it? I, I think so because I'm just, I don't know where the fourth T4 is, is at is the thing though. And you don't need three T3s, you only need two. So I'm not sure what's going on with that unless it's somewhere else. Oh, there it is over there. Okay. Oh, there's more. I wonder if those are just put in for deco then. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to lose. I'm not going to loot anything. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think the ship is is quite operational. So these must be LCD pads. And they maybe they, yep, they are. <clears throat> so this probably lights up as a big screen or something. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me, I got something in my throat. All right, well, um, let's go back out here for a second. Yeah, this is an impressive ship. It's really cool looking. Can you go... Is there like areas down here to walk in or is that just all... Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, now it's starting to move. Okay, yeah, so there's more... More uh, quarters or whatever in, in through here too. It looks really cool. What? What the hell, man? Is it like super hot in there or what? That that area must be right right next to some um some thrusters or something. Oh, quit your belly aching. Okay, well. Anyway, that's kind of neat to, you know, to look at the ship and just kind of check it out. It's a, it's a neat looking ship. It's a big ship. And it's a hell of a dangerous ship if if we were actually enemies with it. <laughs> now now we're now our ship's blocking it. It did it looked like it did try and move there for a bit. Yeah, but it, it seems to me like the thruster placement is not was not taken into account in terms of you know the the quarters where where people would actually be because I was like roasting up in there. Was it those two thrusters there that was causing that? I don't know. Well, see right here, it's not like super hot. Does gravity work in here? Oh, nope. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, see, it's uh, it's probably that big ass thruster right there. Okay, well, anyway, my jetpack is, was sending me uh, for a tailspin, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, well, it was cool to see the ship anyway. Um, I wonder if it'll, if it'll take off once we get out of the way. Let's see, we need to, oh shit, yeah, we definitely need to take a shower. Uh, we're at 0. 0.9 body radiation there. What do you think, Commander Courtney? It's a pretty impressive ship, isn't it? Yep, she she's actually busy with her. Na Whoa, shit. Navigational stuff. Okay, is it going to move now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know what it's gonna do all right well anyway okay um i'm gonna go back home and um get this uh titanium in the base well let me think should we go yeah let, i'll tell you what let's go let's go pound those two um outposts and just get them out of the way i just want to go get the loot and that's all really um it'll be a, it'll be a, a, an easy fight so it won't be a big deal in that regard 
Uh, and remember, I've already taken out the exterior gun, so we're just going to waltz in, kill a couple Xerax, take a look at the loot, and then after that, maybe what we'll do for the end of this episode, because we're starting to run out of time here, maybe we'll just kind of go assess the drone base and see if we can come up with a plan uh, to get to it. So I will see you guys down at uh, the first of the two outposts that we're going to uh, take out.